first step to improving your company's culture is to measure it. But you can't exactly use a tape measure or a yardstick to get the job done. But you've got to know where your company's culture stands before you can improve it. Welcome to the fifth and final video in our series on what makes a workplace happy and productive. Back in video four, I shared the three ingredients for a sustainable workplace culture. And in this video, I'm sharing the three ways that you can start measuring your company's work culture today. Hey there, I'm Anna from Clockwise, your time management coach here with the best tips and tools to help you make time for what matters in your busy workday. At Clockwise, we wanted to understand what it takes to build a workplace culture that's sustainable for everyone. So we reached out to more than a thousand knowledge workers from across the U.S. to find out how their workplace culture impacts profitability, innovation, retention, and more. After digging through the data, we combined all the best light bulb moments into this report happy and productive, the real ROI of a sustainable work culture. I've dropped a link below in the description so you can get your free copy of the report. Here are three ways that you can start measuring your company's culture today. First, employee surveys. This is the easiest way to start running the numbers and measuring your company's culture. And companies like Lattice or Culture Amp can help you automate this process. Whether you use a monthly or a quarterly survey rhythm, regularly checking in with your team will help you spot issues before they blow up into big problems. The second way you can measure your company's culture is with culture calibration sessions. Culture calibration sessions are a great way to get qualitative feedback from your team, and they should include a cross-section of employees from different areas and departments of your company, as well as a good mix of managers and individual contributors. Use these sessions to find out what your team values most about your culture and what you can improve. But watch out, don't let your notes from these culture calibration sessions just collect dust in a Google Doc. The key is to taking action on what you've learned and then to follow up to make sure that your actions are actually working. The third way to measure your company's culture is with exit interviews. Your best chances of getting an employee's honest take on the company's culture is actually as they're heading out the door. A lot of times people don't want to rock the boat and share their thoughts while they're still on the payroll. So when people leave, ask them what made their working lives better or worse. Then, just like with the culture calibration sessions, be sure to take action on what you've learned in order to benefit the broader team. You may not be able to make your team happy and productive overnight, but with employee surveys, culture calibration sessions, and exit interviews, you can learn more about what your team wants from your company's culture. Listening is great, but taking action is key. One action you can take today to improve your work-life balance, increase your focus time, and create an environment with clear expectations? Download Clockwise for free. Clockwise helps you make time for what matters by opening up more focus time in your day. I've dropped a link down in the description below so you can get Clockwise today for free. I'll see you in the next video.